guys, so I am in Canada. I'm currently in my hotel room in Vancouver. It's my second day here. I'm loving it so far. And today I actually went shopping um, quite a lot. So I thought I would film a haul for you guys. Sorry, the quality isn't that great. I'm just filming on my vlogging camera because I don't have my big camera in one of my accessible suitcases. But I bought quite a wide variety of stuff. And America haul is always really popular on YouTube. So yes, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, remember to do that now. And without further ado, let's just get right on with the video. So I'm going to start off with Urban Outfitters. Um, and in Canada, Urban Outfitters is so expensive. Like, the things I bought were just such a rip-off. I'll tell you how much they cost, and it just hurt my heart when I had to buy them. Um, but the first thing that I bought was a cardigan, and um, it looks like this. So it's just kind of grey slash black. Um, mold and it's really thin and what I wanted it for was you know those days where it's kind of autumn you want something over your shoulders but you don't want something that's too thick um, and I thought this cardigan would be great for that as you can kind of see it's actually see-through it's really pretty um, and I fit into an extra small so that made me really happy as well um, but this cost 59 Canadian dollars which is around 40 pounds which is so expensive for this but I don't know, I thought if I wear it a lot, then maybe the price would be worth it. And then the next thing I got from Urban Outfitters was also an absolute rip-off. Oh my goodness, this dress was $74. I still don't know why I bought this dress. It, like, it's really pretty, but it was it's like £50. It's such a rip-off. Um, but it's a dress that looks like this. So, um, it's got this kind of cute little don't really know how to describe it but you will be able to see so it's got that on the bottom it's also got it on the shoulders and then it's a v-neck um and i tried this on and it was so nice i never ever buy anything that's a v-neck so this is my i think my first ever v-neck product and yes i just think this will be great firstly for sorority recruitment that i'll be doing at ubc i know there's lbd dress events that sometimes go on so I don't know, I thought this was really, really pretty and I thought I will make compromises in other areas to be able to afford this. And then the next thing is from um, a shop called Indigo, which all I can say is if you're from the UK, it's very like paper chase. If you're from the US, it's very like paper source. So it has books, so like waterstones, but it also has journals and diaries and things like that. So oh, I'm going to compose myself. I bought this guys this is honestly the cutest journal i have ever seen oh this camera has autofocus it looks really good so um this says if you can't read it well-behaved women rarely make history and i'm someone who's always a bit too talkative sometimes a little bit controversial at times and i really just state my opinion uh all times like i'll never really be on the fence so i thought that that quote really describes me um especially when people might criticize me about being too outgoing or talking too much i just think this this quote will give me faith and so it looks like this on the front and this on the back and it's actually quite like hard so it's not like a normal notebook and this was quite expensive this was 20 canadian dollars so about 15 pounds but this is actually for my studies so um it is ruled in the middle so that's really really nice and because i'm doing two art modules in first term which don't require kind of writing this will only be used for two modules so i'm hoping i can fit all of my work in this one notebook and then lastly i went to sephora i didn't buy exactly like everything that i wanted because it was like really, really expensive. And obviously I'd spent so much in Urban Outfitters, so I didn't want to spend too much money. Um, so the first thing that I got, which I'll take out of this bag, is this, which um, is the Living Proof No Frizz Humidity Shield. And although my hair looks kind of okay right now, my hair gets so frizzy, like unbelievably frizzy. Um, and I used my friend's mum's um, humidity spray thing on holiday and I really, really liked it. So I thought I would treat myself to this. And if you've ever been in Sephora, you will know that they do little kind of sample sizes that you can buy. So this is a mini one. I love it so much. I have to tell you guys in the future whether I like it or not. And the next thing that I bought, which was my like highest purchase value item um was this which is from dry bar 
oh they do not do dry bar in the uk i'm so happy that they have so many dry bar products i'm definitely going to buy their shampoo and conditioner another time they're just really expensive but this is their hot toddy heat and uv protectant cream and what i've realized is that i got a lot of split ends because i don't put any heat protectant spray on so i never am protecting my hair from the hair drying that i do like every time i wash my hair as well as straightening which i do every single day so um, I thought this product would be really good you just put like a little bit of the cream onto your hand then rub it into the bottoms of your hair and then the next thing I bought was also another sample size and this was the dry bar dry shampoo and I really really wanted this I wanted the big size of this but I think it was about $30 so I was like I'm not paying $30 and when I got to the tools I saw they had this for I think it was $12 so obviously a massive price reduction you do get a small amount of product but I thought this would be good because I can test out whether I like it or whether I don't like it and if I do I can just invest in a big one but if I don't it doesn't really matter I haven't spent that much money on it and if you were just wondering the dry shampoo that this is is the dry bar detox one I know there's another one but this was just the one that I picked up. And then finally, I got something for free because I signed up for the Sephora card, although she literally could not understand me at all. I think it was my British accent. Like, I've been having so many problems in the last two days because they just don't understand me. Like, comment down below if you understand me and you're American or Canadian because I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Like, I said the word beauty and she couldn't understand what I was saying. And then I wrote it down for her and she was like, oh beauty and I was like yeah beauty like I didn't realize like that sounded so different but anyway I am waffling um the first thing that I got for free was a soy face cleanser um and these are both from the brand fresh that I've never tried before but do you know it was free and I really like cleansers I love cleansing my face it's something that I've really got into recently especially with my bare minerals um cleanser that I have which is oh it's so amazing but this one's really good because it's extra gentle so it's great for sensitive skin like mine and also it takes off all your makeup so the second I finish this video I'm going to jump in the shower and I'm going to take my makeup off with this so I'm hoping that it's quite good and then finally the last thing that I have in here which I haven't actually opened this yet because I came back from the shops like 10 minutes ago um is a rose face mask oh my goodness guys look at this face mask it's literally brown what is going on oh my goodness it smells like rose but it it looks brown this is obviously how it's supposed to be but that's so weird that is so weird i'm gonna have to try that later and see if it does better things to my skin than how it looks i guess that is everything for today's video that was actually just in one day shopping so if i do more days of shopping i will buy more stuff so definitely tell me in the comment bar below whether you would like me to do more america hauls i just thank you so much for watching as always and for nearly getting me to 21,000 subscribers because that's just incredible thank you so much for your support and i will see you next time guys bye i love you